What's going on, everybody? Welcome. My girlfriend just interrupted just interrupted the intro. So my friends, hello, welcome to another episode. I finally got one. I finally, I finally did it. Everyone's been saying, Taylor, check out these buddy heaters. So I finally bought myself a buddy heater. I'm, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I actually used it all last night. So uh, it's been used. I just thought that I would bring the box along to make it look uh, a little bit more special. Here it is, my friends. Here is the Buddy Heater. Now I've got the model that's right in between the small and the large. 4,000 to 9,000 BTUs, and it uh, fits one canister of propane, one one-pound canister of pro uh, propane, or you can connect a 20-pound propane tank to the, uh, the fitting right here. Is this safe for indoor use? Is this radiant heater okay to use in an RV? while sleeping, while hanging out. A little bit extra heat, full time heat. What are my thoughts on it? So if you're like me, you've probably heard of the Buddy Heater. It's a radiant heater, so there's a little pilot light and then this thing lights up. I'm actually not really sure how it works, uh, but it lights up and it gets really, really hot and it doesn't use that much propane and it uses no battery. And uh, so that's why a lot of people in the RV industry talk about them. But the question I had, the question you probably have, and the question that the entire internet seems to have is are they safe indoors? And especially in RVs or tents because of uh, CO, carbon monoxide. Now I live in Canada, guys, uh, and if you look on the box, and this is what really confused me, I was all excited about them and then I went into Canadian Tire and I looked in the box and it says outdoor propane heater. But then on the back it says whether you're camping, RVing, or warming up a chilly workspace, you need a buddy. So I was like, okay, so is it indoor or outdoor use? I'm confused. So I went online, started reading about them, and the website everywhere says that they are safe to use inside. And I was like, well, why does this packaging say otherwise? So I purchased the buddy heater, and then I looked on the back here. And this says right here, this appliance can produce carbon monoxide which has no odor. Using it in an enclosed space can kill you. Never use this appliance in an enclosed space such as a camper. This is a truck camper that I'm in right now if you don't know. Tent, car, or home. Oh wait a second, that makes no sense. So I bought one and while I was driving back from my purchase, I actually got on the phone and I called Mr. Heater and I asked them about their buddy heater. I said, hey guys, I live in Canada. Um, I see all over your website that it's indoor safe, but on the box and on the actual piece of equipment, it says it's not indoor safe. What's going on? And they basically said to me that it is indoor safe and uh, that because I live in Canada, there's apparently laws and code that they have to make these warning signs visible on the box and on the heater. So now I was super confused. Um, it says not in for indoor use. The company saying it is for indoor use. Uh, and I'm like, well, who is right? Is the box right? Does the company just want to sell them? I'm confused. And so I went onto YouTube and I watched two videos. I watched one guy turn this heater on and run it in his, what looked like a travel trailer for an hour. And every 15 minutes, he would go and check his CO2 uh, detector. This is a carbon monoxide detector and it's a digital read and so you actually get to see what the, I think it's parts per million are of uh, CO in the air and so he checked it every 15 minutes for an hour but he had a window open and so the test read zero the entire time so absolutely no CO produced by this piece of equipment. So that wasn't good enough for me. I was like, well, what if you close the window? What would happen? I, I, like, I wanna, I wanna see some numbers on here just to kind of give me an idea of what's going on, you know? How close do I have to put this thing to this thing? Because everyone's worried about CO until it goes off. So I was looking around on the internet and I found another person talking about the same issue. Uh, what they did is they turned one of these on in an enclosed bathroom, an airtight bathroom with no vents. They had a CO uh, monitor, but it wasn't a digital read. And uh, what this product will do, it has two safety features. Number one is if it's tipped, it'll shut off, or low oxygen safety shut off system. So yeah, if it 
uses up all the oxygen and the oxygen is getting low in the room because this uses oxygen, fire, oxygen, it will shut off as well. So what happened in his test is that this shut off because there was no more oxygen in the room and his CO detector didn't go off because there wasn't enough carbon monoxide to make it go off. But that was, still wasn't good for me. I wanted to see, is there trace amounts? What's going on? Like if I'm sleeping all night with this thing, what is going on? What I'm gonna do today is I'm actually gonna perform two tests, which one I did last night. Now the one test I did last night was I turned this on high, I cracked my vent, my cab over vent up there, and I ran it for about four hours, three and a half hours, until the one pound cylinder of propane ran out. And I had this, actually you know what, I'll, uh, I'll show you. All right, so we're just gonna go to the side and we're actually gonna get this thing running. For those who don't know what one of these radiant heaters is or what it does let me show you and let me show you how it works and you hand tighten it you put it right there and then we put it on the ground for me the desirable area is right there so that the heat rises and then goes into my cab over now you can see that it's in the off mode right now it has a pilot mode and then it has a low and a high on the low setting, it says that it'll run for six hours on one of these one pound propane tanks. And on the high, it says it'll last about three hours on the, uh, on the same tank. So that makes sense. Last night I was kind of uh, below high and low and it ran for about three and a half, four hours. Flip it over to the pilot. It says to ignite the pilot, which you can see at the very bottom. It says to hold this down, hold this knob down for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, you can click it over to your desired temperature. And if you're curious what it looks like when it lights up, there it goes. And in just a second, you'll see this get very, very hot, very red. So now what the two safety features are, number one is if it sucks all the oxygen up or it feels like the oxygen level is low because of it sucking it all up, it'll shut off. Now we're not gonna test that. It was tested in another video. It works. I just wanna show you the tip over option. If you accidentally do that, it will shut off. So there's just a feature I thought I would let you know. Uh, now let's explain what happened when I ran this for four and a half hours with the vent open. So last night it was sitting right there. It was on full heat. And I climbed up into bed, and I can't quite remember what they recommend the ventilation to be, but it's something like a, a four inch square area or something. So anyways, I opened this, and I also have my bathroom vent open, so there was enough airflow to come in. Now they do recommend, actually they don't recommend, they tell you to not use it in an enclosed area. There are safety features on it, but they say to open vents you can check out their website furthermore but what i did is i opened this vent i also have my washroom vent open and i brought this trusty co detector with me and i placed it right by my mouth <laughs> so that it would go off before i turned off you know, you know what i mean and i sat here for about three and a half hours on my computer actually in front of canadian tire it was lovely and i had my feet hanging off the bed and uh, it was warming my feet up. It was so cozy in here. It was minus two outside. I'm Canadian, that's Celsius, my friends, it's cold. And inside here with the buddy heater on high, 75 Fahrenheit, which is about 22, 23 degrees Celsius. So it was toasty, it works, especially for a space like mine. If you have a bigger space, get the bigger one. But it really does work. And this did not go off in three and a half hours. So I was like, you know what, I want this to show something. I want it to like hit 10. So I brought it over here and uh, I put it right next to the buddy heater. Actually, I put it right here and I also put it right next to it. And in about half an hour, I checked it, still zero. So at this point, I'm like, okay, I want this to read something, which brings me to today. What we are going to do is I am going to lock this inside my RV. I'm going to close all of my windows. Say you accidentally fell asleep with one of these on high and you didn't have any windows open. What would happen? That's the real question I want to know. And I don't want to know, oh, will my CO, well, I do. Oh, is, will my CO detector go off or not? I want to see the reading. Like, is there trace amounts of CO in my camper? Am I slowly dying because this thing is on? Now, like I said, 
they say always have a vent open when you're running one of these. But let's just say we forgot. I think I'm gonna set it right here and I'm gonna face it this way so that I can actually step up on a stool and to see and look in to see if it's still on because it may shut itself off because of the low air supply. And if it does that and then we wait two hours after that and come in, the CO detector, even if it was actually giving off some CO, it wouldn't be, there wouldn't be a reading. So I'll, I'll come periodically check on it. So I think I'm gonna start it right here. Okay, shut the lights off so my battery doesn't die. My battery won't die though because this thing doesn't use battery. Okay, let's go. Shut. It is 4.34 p.m. So uh, 5.30, 6.30, whenever I start freezing out here, we'll open the door and see what happened. I can see both of them. There's the heater and, oh, there's the uh, monitor. Now, thinking about it, there's no reason that I couldn't be in there right now because I've got two monitors, but uh, I have some work to do right now. And it's also time for our sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by me. By me, nobody does that. I'm sponsoring my own video. Um, it's sponsored by Live in the Dream Rustic Water Bottles and engraved Live in the Dream multi-tools, corkscrew, Phillips, knife, saw, bottle opener, basically everything. Everything you need for your weekend getaway. Truckcampertailor.com is where you can get them. That is so much better than a Duracell commercial from somebody else, isn't it? <laughs> All right, guys, it is six o'clock, so it's about an hour and a half. Let's, uh, let's check out and see what's going on. So. So the heater's still on, so that means it hasn't sucked all the air out of my uh, camper yet. And that's gonna be tough to see, but it still reads zero for, uh, for CO. Ooh, it's cold out here. All right, guys, it is 6.45 and uh, it's still running. And that says, you can't see it right now, but it does say zero. So let's go inside, let's see how warm it is. Ooh. Oh my God, it's toasty in here. <laughs> All right, so you can see. So I never thought about condensation, but it reads zero. It's burning, it's so warm in here. And the temperature right now, I, it was 76 when I opened the door, but it just dropped. Anyways, it says 74, 23 degrees Celsius with this, this thing on high. Before I give you guys the review, are you sure this thing's even working? I mean, is it just saying zero? Beep, 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 beep. Well guys, there you have it. I tested it with the vents open, carbon monoxide zero. I tested with the vents closed for about two and a half hours and zero. Now, like I've said a million times in this video, open the vents, it's supposed to be used with the vents open. But I would now feel comfortable um, sleeping in here with, with it on. I mean, I, I don't know how to shut that thing off. So mom, if you're watching, I will be safe at night. With all that being said, use your discretion. Look it up for yourself. I'm just telling you that I would be comfortable with it going all night long. So I'm not recommending it to anybody. I don't wanna get sued, disclaimer, I'm not a professional, but these are the results that I got. I just wanted to show you the results. Anyways, guys, this is annoying. I'm gonna put this to bed or put it somewhere. Keep living that dream, my friends. Until next time, take care and bye-bye. Hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, and if you enjoyed this video, you're more than welcome to subscribe if you feel like it. Okay, that's it. Bye.